Hello and welcome back. Thank you for subscribing to my channel, Paint with Gloria. Now let's get started. Okay, hello, hello, welcome back. This is what we're going to try to paint today. It's a beautiful sunset. So let's get started. I got some colors here on my foam plate palette. I got yellow, red, a little bit of black, lots of blue, and white. My brushes, I have Filbert. Filbert, one larger than the other. One is soft. This one is a little more rough. A long Filbert and my liner. As well as an angle brush, which is almost an inch. And I think that's all we're going to need for today. So let's jump right into painting. And I am using my canvas pad, 9 by 12. Even though I'm going to just use an 8 by 10. Smooth it out. We don't want no streaks. Very light because if you press too hard and stop in the middle, that's what you're going to get. Those lines. So from one end to the other, very light, feather like. And let's see the horizon line. Let's make it about here. Swiping it back and forth, back and forth. If you don't have a angle brush, just go ahead and pick up your square brush or whatever brush you have handy. And I tape the size of my pad so it doesn't move on me. I'm gonna pick up white because it's gonna get lighter. Blend it in. Blend it in where you don't see those lines, where they meet, where they begin, or where they end. Go ahead and blend, blend, blend. Beautiful. Now I'm going to clean my brush because I'm going to start adding that yellow right here. Giving a chance for the blue to dry because I don't want it to mix in with the blue because then my yellow and blue is going to turn into green. So we're going to try to keep them separated until they dry. And if you accidentally mix them in a little bit, it's okay. If it turns a little bit of green, it's okay because it will be covered anyway. We'll try to cover it. How's that? See? In your brush because I don't want to keep spreading that green. Take my brush, pick up a little bit more white. Okay. I'm going to work on the water, giving this a chance to dry. So again, picking up some blue. Just 
sliding from one end to the other. Slightly, lightly from one end to the other, very lightly. brush a little bit of white and I'm gonna tap into the black just very lightly saw that very lightly very lightly get some of those grays in there in the water Mix it in, mix it in from one end to the other, beautiful water, clean your brush, pick up some white, and again I'm going to put some white here. Pick up some more white. Pick up a little bit of red. Let's make orange. Picking up a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow. To get those uh, oranges in there so red and yellow makes orange so let's put those in there and mix it in very lightly don't press too hard on your brush picking up a little bit more red just to kind of make it a little darker blend it in now I'm going to switch to another brush but now this one is too big for what I would like to do so I'm picking up my filbert picking up a little bit red Mixed in with a little bit of yellow, mixing my red with the yellow again. What I'm doing is swiping back and forth, and turning my brush. See, swiping. That's what you want to do swipe, swipe, swipe. Little bit of red. And this way. I'm going to cover that yellow where it meets the ocean. Clean my brush. Pick up some yellow. Pick up more yellow. A little bit of white. Okay, I guess I need more white. Oh, more white. Swiping. Picking up more white. Swiping. These are the clouds. Okay, now I'm going to clean my brush because I want to blend those in. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to be pushing that way. So I'm pushing my colors up and wiggling, pushing up before it dries. 
Same here. Push, push. I'm pushing up. That's all I'm doing. Pushing up. Let's pick up some more. Push up, push up. Some here. Push up. Keep my brush a little, too much in it. Push up. Let it fade. Push up, push up. Let it wiggle it out. Wiggle it out. See this? Push up. Wiggle it out. Push up. Push up. Push up. See? Just keep pushing up. Push up. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to and see, I don't really want it in the center, so we're going to put it here. Pick up a little bit of yellow just to lighten it up. There you go. A little bit of yellow. Let's put in some more white in there. So I'm going to go ahead and clean my brush. Pick up some more white. And let's add some more. Clean your brush if it's wet. Push up. Make them in different sizes, different shapes. Fill in your sky. There you go. Scrub. Let's go to this side. Do the same thing here. Push up. Wiggle out. Same thing here. Balance your painting with clouds. Let's put a little bit of yellow in some of these clouds. Push up. Pick up white. If it's too much, too much yellow, just pick up white. And blend it in. Push, push, push. There you go. Push. Push up. There you go. Let's pick up a little bit more orange. So Picking up red, picking up yellow, mixing it in, getting my orange back in there. There you go. Same step, same procedure as you did with the clouds. Pushing up, a little bit more red. Pushing up, wiggle, wiggle it, okay, pick up some of my yellow, I don't want it to be really yellow here, this is where the sun's going to be, a bit of white, there you go. Now, now that we have that, I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of that same color, orange, 
into the water. So, let me pick up my brush and let's do it here. And you're going to just wiggle it. You don't see it, it's okay. Go ahead and pick up a little bit more yellow and red. That's better. And wiggle it. Wiggle it, wiggle it. And again, spread out, smoothen it out very lightly, okay. and we're going to add a little bit of yellow there with a little bit of white just to lighten it up right about here. Okay. We'll come back once that dries. We're going to do some here, just to kind of pick up some white. You want to be able to see it. There you go. On the side too. Blend it in there. Blend it in. Once this dry, we'll come back and put some more color in there. Now I'm going to put in some, I'm going to use some of the black to try to get the effect on these clouds. So let's try that. So I'm picking a tab, just a tab, very lightly, very lightly, not much, because I want it to be like a bluish gray cloud. So we're going to go for that, going for that effect. Making sure that I'm mixing the right colors. There you go. Okay, so again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to push up because we want those gray clouds in there. Push up. Don't be afraid. Okay, I think I should go a little darker. So, let's see. Let's Put some in here. There you go. Push up. So dark clouds. Even if you go into the other clouds that are already there, it's okay. Continue to put in your clouds. Mix it in there, pick up a little blue, throw it into that black mixture that you have there, and push up. Here we go. And we're going to blend those in before we continue to put in, to put in more. So let's just blend it in. Push, push up. Let's see, just put them in where you see them. Pick up a little bit of white, there's too, there you go, too dark. Just go ahead and pick up a little bit of white, line it up. Here we go. Here. I see that one is too light. Gotta darken that one. They're all over the place, so go ahead and put them in there. Now, I see little ones here, so we're gonna put in little ones too. They're not all big. Little ones. They for the back.
Now I'm going to go ahead and pick up the small brush to make sure that I get those little ones in there. And they're right about here. Pushing up. Push up. Go. Same thing. Too light. Push up. Go. Push up. Go. Too light. You see? When you find yourself picking up and you say oh, it's too light, it's okay. Just go ahead and pick up darker colors. And we're going to put some in here too. Pushing up, same procedure. Is that now you're using a smaller brush. Same thing. Picking up. Let's see, they have quite a few. There you go. Here too. Push up. Let's see. Wow, they have quite a few. Very little. Little ones here and there. Fill up your sky. Fill up your sky. Picking up my filter, making sure it's clean. Picking up some yellow. Mixed it with some white because I want it bright. Yellow. And we're going to put it here. Always pushing up. Always pushing up. Picking up a little bit of red. Beautiful. Same, same. Go here. Push up. The sky's on fire. If it's too red, pick up yellow, put it on top. It will give you the lighter orange that you might be looking for. Just a tap here. Okay, here we go. Just going to put one here. Clean my brush. Push up. Let's see. I think this is dry now so that we can put more yellow in there. And I think maybe I should use my small brush. Let me clean it. So I'm going to pick up some yellow. And red because it looks orange. So let's pick up. There you go. And it goes something like this. More yellow. Okay. Wiggle it. And spread it out. Very lightly. Pick up a little bit of white if you have to. Just to. Okay, it still feels like it's still wet. It is wet. Okay, we might have to wait again to come back to that. But in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and pick up some yellow. And just kind of bring it down so I know that it goes all the way out. Wiggle. Wiggle. Okay. 
I'm going to pick up solid white. Let me put some more in my palette because it mixed in with the black and I don't want gray. And we're going to put the sun right here. So you want to do your circle and fill it in. Fill it in. Let's give it a second or two to dry. And while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and put my little lines going across the sun like this. Mix it in there. And the same thing for the water. We're going to have a little shadow on the bottom. It's more yellow. More than anything. Picking up a little bit of white, just a tab. Let's see something. I should have had my blow dryer. That would have helped me a lot. Okay. Picking up a little bit more yellow. I'm trying to get the orange. Orange. Let's see. Beautiful. Now let's just blend that in. Blend it in. Blend it in. Same thing here on this side. Blend it in. Pick it up a little blue. Go back and forth. You don't want lines. Again, blue. Pick it up here. Put it in down. Blend it in. Blend it in. Making sure I don't get too much on it right here. Cut that off a little bit and blend it in. If you made it too wide, the reflection, just go ahead and put some of your blue back in there once this is dry and blend it in. Okay, let's see something. This is what we were looking at. We're not going to do this plaits here in the foreground, but this is what we're looking at. We came pretty close. Let's see. Let's put more white in that bright sun here. And the longer you wait, it'll dry even more. And you can come back in a few minutes and just put back in some more white. You don't have to, only if you want to. So let me put those lines back in there. Going across. Mm -hmm. See? There you go. Okay, now that it's drying, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more blue back in that water. And that will be here at the horizon line. Now blend it in. Blend 
blend it in. Same for this side. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of some of too much. I put for me it will be is for me is too much reflection. So I'm gonna get rid of some. Same for the other side. There you go. Blend it. Blend it in. Better. For me, for my taste, this is better. Red. I'm going to do a little red here to kind of show, blend it in, blend it in, beautiful, okay, I'm going to put back my white, I straighten out that. Horizon line, there you go, much better. Picking up my blue again, putting back in the horizon line. Okay, a bit more white in there. There you go. Nice and bright. Clean my brush without water, just cleaning the brush just to kind of spread it out a little bit. Not much. And go back as many times as you want, as you go back as many times as you want to until you see something that you're happy with. There's no limit on how many times you can go back. I'm gonna get some more. There you go. I like that, that's better. And I'm gonna clean my brush with water and I'm gonna add a little bit more white in there in that reflection. Just because I like it. There you go. I kind of want it smaller, smaller the reflections. And then by spreading it out, and let's see, are we missing anything here? I'm looking. Uh, Yes, I do see some more red at the bottom of the sun where the reflection is. So let me just put a tab of, it looks more like orange, but I'm hoping that my red will pick up some of that yellow that's there. Putting some of that blue back in there. You see how I just keep going back? And now all I'm doing is spreading it out. Spread it out. 
until you're happy with it. Okay, just when we think we're done, um, I'm not crazy about the reflection from the sun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, and this is a good lesson too. So in case you come across something like this in your future paintings, that doesn't mean if you're not happy with something, you can't get rid of it. You can. See? Just got to maybe wait until it dries a little bit before you do it because sometimes it just doesn't do it if your paint is still wet. See, I covered it, put a little bit more blue in there, and what I'm going to do is just, let's see, maybe wait, because I can still see the shadows here that I covered, there you go, that's better, now I don't see it at all. And what you might want to do is, let's see, let me clean my brush and see if it works. I'm going to pick up some, I'm going to pick up some white, very little white. And I'm just going to kind of blend it in there, blend it in a little bit. Not much. Now I just spread it out, spread it out. Let's see, blend it in, I just don't want too much, just blend it in, making sure you don't press on too hard because then you'll be picking up those colors that you covered. Let's see, I think that's better. Now we're going to remove the tape so you have a better idea of what it's going to look like. Here we go. The tape. Let's straighten out the. See these you can pull out. This is my canvas pad, and these are real canvases. They just glue them to the pad. There we go. I think that's so much better. So let's go ahead and sign. There you go. Well, guys, I hope you enjoy this one. Um, I will see you on our next adventure. God bless. Adios, amigos.